Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Come on, come on, let's not take all day. The Navy versus the Night Monsters has a classic sci-fi horror setup. Something's gone wrong. A small group of people in an isolated location being hunted by an unseen enemy. Leave the light on, Mother, I'm afraid of the dark. A creature with acid for blood. Strong enough to eat into the flooring. A fast-moving larval stage. What if it jumps? Jump higher. And an insatiable appetite. Delicious! Ring any bells? I don't know, sir. On Gow Island, no one can hear you scream. I heard him scream. So, where does it all go horribly wrong? If I knew the answer, I'd tell you. Well, the creature's appearance doesn't help. <laughs> but it's their nature that really cocks it up. This is ridiculous. The creatures are trees. Carnivorous trees that, that move on their own roots. They can move, but not fast which means that their food has to come to them. <laughs> to make this work in the context of the film, the characters can't be allowed to notice that all the people who disappeared did so while on a walk by themselves in the forest. <laughs> so characters continue to go for a walk by themselves in the forest. Even the comic relief gets eaten. Which frankly was something of a relief in itself. Hello, Charlie Brown. This is your faithful companion, Tonto. Then there's the mildly misogynist romantic dialogue. I could forget real easy if you were with me, especially in a bikini. Oh, wow. I think we better have a cigarette. I envy him. Not his job. Well, that's a slap in the face to the girl he was kissing a minute ago. You know, I... I'm in love with you. some time baby this film is built around two things not what i meant but not that far from the truth that's the heartbeat of a man in mortal terror this is mamie van doren the looks of marilyn monroe and the acting ability of marilyn from home and away for heaven's sake stop it the filmmakers seem to think that as long as they give her rack enough screen time the film's other flaws will fade into the background. You shouldn't feel that way. Which may also explain the lack of consistency in the nurse's uniform policy. He's in shock. Back to the plot. How many more people are gonna die before we stop this killer? The monsters have been dealt with. <laughs> Took them the whole bloody movie to remember that trees burn. Holy mackerel, I forgot. But the lava are now running riot over the island. <laughs> But the Navy scientists aren't stumped. Now, they won't cross a fuel line even for food. I put some on one of my specimens and it dies. There is your answer, Admiral. What? Spray fuel on them and the problem's solved. Napalm. Or that. Another step forward in the march of science. And its mission to obliterate anything it doesn't understand. <laughs> If you've got a film you'd like us to review, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe.